Hello and welcome to Crippled System Battle Report number 16. Uh, I'm one of your hosts, Jeremy Kofoot. Hey, I'm Andy. I play uh, Cephalix uh, Mercenaries. And I'm Jeff. I'm just here to poke fun at what they're doing. Yay! Okay, and uh, as you can see here, we're just getting ready. I'll run through my army really quick. I play the Protectorate. I was playing P. Sevy with Judicator and uh, uh, Blessing of Vengeance, Double Vassal, uh, Min Choir, Tristan with the Redeemer, Errant's UA, and the uh, Seneschal, and the Book and Rupert. And I think that covers about all of it. Yeah. Pretty much over on my side, as you can tell, we're playing Death Clock, but uh, for some odd reason, we decided not to start it yet. Uh, scenario we're playing is close quarters. Um, I have the brand new Cephalix army. Pretty much uh, got everything out over at lock and load. I'm playing the the contract for puppet masters. Uh, my I have a, a couple of pistol wraiths. I have a full unit of mind benders, full unit of mind slavers. I have two wardens, wrecker, uh, two agitators. And I've got uh, my overlord, or my, uh, I forgot what the hell they're called. It's not overlord. I've got a well, unit of overlords, overlords but, yeah. but uh, dominator, that's what it is. Uh, the dominator for, I have them, uh, Boomhauer is being led you know, I, I, I got to feel real sorry for privateers. they got to run out of words of, like, I am this evil controlling entity. You know, there's like <laughs> dominators and overlords, and you know, Scorn's already got tyrants, so. Yeah. So it looks like I'm just doing my four plus four plus tough and run, which is the interesting thing with the Cephalix is that uh, the Dominator actually gets that four plus tough because he he grants the unit tough, so he gets tough, and then Boomhauer just says units models get four plus tough. Yeah, that's a uh, it's a little bit annoying considering <laughs> the second time I played against this, but uh, well, and it's no worse than regular Boom uh, Boomhauers other than the Fearless, right? Yeah, yeah. no. The other granted ability. Oh. Yeah, and they get advanced deploy, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> Four uh, plus stuff just in general is uh, sort of annoying, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Boom Hollers in a nutshell. Yeah. yeah. But I gotta say, I really like the look of the new uh, Cephalix, especially the monstrosities. Um, they're definitely an army that uh, in the future I look at getting. Sweet. Maybe yeah. not so much anymore, but I'll definitely be looking at getting them in the future. <laughs> oh, oh, Death Clock started. Oh, look, yeah. we actually started. <laughs> After half my army is across the table. <laughs> Never mind all those boom hollers that just ran. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling this is not going to go out of time anyway. Let's see yeah. here. Oh, I don't have the timer Death. on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it on the clock just fine. So for those of us, for those of us who aren't terribly familiar with the Cephalix, why don't you give us a rundown on some of those units you mentioned that may not be so uh, sure so commonplace? Uh, it's pretty simple. The guys that are moving up right now that I'm just ham fisting and cannot position correctly. Those are the standard uh, mind slaver unit that uh, has been in Cricks for a long time. They're just uh, power thirteen, mat five. Uh, the leader can make more if if he gets into combat. Um, Honestly, if he gets into combat, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> he should you should never see combat. Uh, those are the ones I'm moving right now. Are those are the overlords? Uh, those are pretty solid. They're basically, again, those guys have death tolls, so they can make more drudges. But if they're using their melee to make drudges, you're probably doing something wrong because they have a spray eight uh, rat set, or basically like magic ability seven spray. That just ignores line of sight and murders a bunch of things. Well, well I see, I see, P. Sevies on the table. So I mean, they may not get those magic attacks. They may have to go into melee with their or pinch claws. Quite possibly, but he doesn't have that many troops out there either. And I, and he does have models in there that are immune to the magic attacks yeah. too. So and then the Exelon just moved up. I'm not sure what he did. Um, oh, he cast Decel. Yeah, deceleration. Um, Exelon is, is an amazing caster. Um, I, I kind of rank them up there kind of near, uh, kind of near, uh, I can't think of his name, Shay. Okay. As in there's, there's good reasons why Shay is not allowed to play with others. Um, <laughs> I, I really think that he shouldn't be allowed in the, in the Crix theme forces or in the Crix, uh, forces 
But uh, yeah, he's eh, they got they've got enough good stuff. I don't think he's going to rank high in their priority chart. Yeah, have a two seventy five point game with two casters. You can take him and like Gatsby. Uh, Gatsby oh, too. Yeah, that would yeah. be pretty horrendous. Yeah, if you haven't just trust us. The, the the spell card in this guy is ridiculous. Yeah. So not only could you get like a bump forward with uh, with excarnate. Then you also have him doing his, his, his telekinesis, telekinesis and, or pushing everything in, into like a small little ball. Yeah, yeah it's it's kind of stupid. Yeah. Uh, the unit that's moving right now, those are the Mindbenders. Um, new sculpts from Privateer, all plastic. An amazing mo- unit. Um, they have three magical abilities. Um, they have a thing called uh, Adrenal Floods, which allows uh, a model to get plus four mat, plus yeah. four strength. And plus four movement immediately. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> yep. Dorito Floods is pretty awesome. Uh, they have an, a combustible AoE. I don't know the name of the spell, but it's an AoE that's sent around one of the drudges, and everything in there takes a POW 12. Yep. Uh, and then they have the... There's my head. Yep. <laughs> For those of you wondering. Yeah. Right. And, then... Uh, and then the last one that they have is just a, a, a rat six spray that they can use. Um, the cool thing about those thing, things, they can actually cast those Adrenal Floods to the secondary unit. So they can cast it onto the Mind Slaver unit, which allows them to be able to charge with that plus four, plus four speed, or plus four mat and uh, plus four strength. So it just makes them really, really dangerous. Yeah, they, yep. they hit ungodly hard with that thing going. Uh, yeah, a small drawback for them is they have the ability to. Um, to cast through their own models, like Arc Nodes. Um, but once they do that, uh, they can cast the spell two more times. And they also can... Uh, oh, the, they kill the model when they do that. Yeah. So, so uh, here's the start of my turn. I just sort of allocated focus. One of the Redeemer. Uh, probably one to the Blessing of Vengeance. And then the, the Judicator gets his own. Uh, Tristan is casting Fortify on the Redeemer right there, and yeah. I'm just going to move Tristan up. I, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go and get some defense here behind the wall. Yeah. 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 I really don't like AoEs. Um, <laughs> AoEs actually, I mean, the big, the big problem I have with this army is magic, and if I lose the ability to cast magic, it really hurts a lot. Um, additionally, AoEs, even though I have like sack pawn everything for all my leader models, uh, if you just drift an AoE onto a guy, I can't sack pawn it. Yeah. And that, Doesn't that Diesel help an awful lot with that, or are they they still too squishy even for? They're they're really squishy. Those guys are only armor thirteen. And well, armor so. fifteen against a blast is respectable. It's not like terrible, but yeah. <laughs> it, it it could be worse. Yes, <laughs> it, it is it is scary enough. Yeah. So, yeah, needless to say, you weren't really, really looking forward to facing Judicator with his two mm-hmm. drifting AoEs that drift a second time. And, yeah. And also uh, the Errants who have blessed uh, crossbows that sort of ignore your spell effects. So. Yep. Yeah, they, they just say, D-Cell, what? <laughs> yeah, right. but you can't afford not to cast it with all those AoEs around. Especially, you're, like, right now you're clumped. You are... Uh, Sitting duck for those AoEs, yeah. Yeah, yeah p- pretty much most of, from what I've seen of them, I, I really almost have to be clumped, at least with the Mindbenders and the Slavers. Well, isn't the command rating just terrible on those units? <laughs> well, with the leader model, they're nines. And if I lose that leader model, it does get a little bit worse. <laughs> um, the Mind Slavers, and I think the Mindbenders are only... Oh, excuse me, why the hell am I yawning? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Right on, right on cue. Um, they're uh, command four. Ooh. Yeah. So that, that hurts a lot. Yeah. To basically hold hands up the field at that point. Pretty much, pretty much. All right, so now the errants are going. They're just moving up. I think they're going to be taking some shots here. Uh, since uh, no reason to actually have gone any farther than what they did. They're already halfway up the table and can start shooting at the boom holler, so... Well, here's the question. Did you think the boom hollers are out of uh, charge range? Did you think about like maybe pushing the front there? Uh, I did not actually think about charging at all. I, I mean, they're five. Could have probably 
Yeah, they're five charge eight. Yeah, I, non reach. So I, 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 I felt they were out of uh, charge range. So plus, uh, I mean, their mat is one higher than their rat, but. Well, the, the bigger thing I was thinking of scenario like that is just to put your guys just a little bit beyond that flag to kind right. of try to hedge them away from it. Because now, now what will happen is if that unit of Boomhauer survives, I'm assuming they're probably just going to crowd the flag and, and no one will ever uh, ever contest it again or will ever claim it again. I don't, I don't know how you are predicting this game so well already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but, well, because uh, well, I know, I, I know Boomhauer's. Uh, I mean, uh, the errands are... Doing some work here where they're, except for at this point, uh, Andy is making all of his tough checks. So. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm not not possibly making <laughs> all my tough checks. Well, I mean, well I, I've only made two so far. So. Well, I think I've only hit two so far. So. <laughs> oh, that's bad dice then. Yeah, those are well, those are easy goes. hits. He needed, I needed nines to hit right here. So. Oh, what's that? A, a, a tough? Because of... Uh, uh, d- yeah, D-Cell helps them out, but, but yeah, I, I don't there's still There's still armor 16. Yeah. So. That's going to be the part that yeah. will yeah. tie me those crossbows. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh four plus tough. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on the casualties there. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh. oh, maybe it's only eights I needed. but Oh, oh one dies. One. Damn it. And then let's go after the guy that's down again. But takes uh, no yeah. damage. <laughs> Yeah, mm. uh, Boomhauer's are rock solid. I do. Yeah, oh. miss. <laughs> yeah e- even as a even as a trollblood player, those guys sneak their ways into my list every once yep. in a while. If I don't want to don't want to crawl stone support them. <laughs> um, oh, under uh, Borka, they get a nice creel stone. Bonus. You know what? I I haven't bought into the family reunion list. I haven't just bothered to spend the money to own that many champions. Now that is one move that I didn't need to do. Because I realized with Hunter and everything. Oh, you, yeah, you yeah. don't realize. Oh, I, I don't know Dude's why. Hunter? I, yeah, I don't yeah. know why I moved him up. Now that I think about it, because he had Hunter, so <laughs> now I moved him up. So he's completely within charge range. It was like, why? I could have just kept him back. Oh, but, but I'm knocked down. I can't possibly charge. No. Oh, wait, and here wait. Rupert's given heroic call, tough and fearless. Yeah. St- standard uh, Rupert. Yeah. Yep. No, but with the with the hunter thing, it's one of those rules that like most of the time you're only thinking about it, ignoring concealment and cover and yep. and what have you. It, it's the the drawing line set clear through a forest just doesn't occur yeah, to most it, people. Like I knew about I knew hunter and everything, but I just didn't even think about that. I was like, oh, I just got to move him up when I didn't. Well, didn't it's it's, to, it's so, so rarely pops up. Yeah. You know, it's there's how many units in the game that, that even have hunter, right? And most of them are. Usually in a spot where they don't aren't hugging the train that closely, where they want to be on the other side of it. Yeah. So I just went with Sevi here. He's put in Defender's Ward on the errands, and he's putting up Iron Menoth for himself. So you you're know. not going to upkeep that, are you? I would never keep up Defender's Ward or Iron Menoth because it does not help at all in this shooty list. It does not. It does not. Terrible spell. No one should ever cast it. Ever exactly. again. And then the Vassal's going, and he's doing uh, Ancillary Tech on the Judicator, who's going to try and take a shot. And uh, range 14, so I think we yeah this out as... It was just about like right there. So Yeah, I think it was just right there. I was just trying to figure out if, for some odd reason, my I, my mind went stupid about, uh, about uh, Ancillary Attacks with... Uh, you know you're Colossals. playing against Menoth, right? Yeah, no, no, with with Colossals. No, yeah. I, I oh. just for some odd reason my mind just went to like no, nothing can activate afterwards. Yeah, like, like, oh, yeah, you, no, can't, can. you can't enliven a ju- yeah. you know a Colossal, but oh, you, you can. It's just pretty damn pointless. Well, yeah, uh-huh. he, he can't move, but yeah. You know, so, ancillary yeah. attack on the big guys is a big deal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Went ahead, try to shoot a defense uh, yeah. thirteen guy. I think I was down to route one or two. Yeah, D cell helps against this at least. <laughs> yeah, I would have been rat two because I would have been four or five down to one up to two because of I. <laughs> but yeah. Well, but that's uh, that's curious. Nice to see AOE with it though. So yep. the goal wasn't necessarily to hit; was to it was to drift and trying to yeah. drift back onto people. Yeah. So you got both those guys pretty much. Yep. It was in the front row. Well, if you're going to take casualties, that's where uh, that's where you want to deal them. 
Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm marking down where the first one hits. Yeah, cause he's cause got the starburst guns. Yep. Oh, that's right. It does a second deviation. Not, not sunburst, but starburst. <laughs> It's juicy. I get it. It's juicy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Some very intense dice rolling over there. At least but, I hope so. No, I was I was <laughs> trying to figure out what what the armor was, yeah. which was seventeen. Which well, didn't doesn't matter. matter much. But oh, uh, no. and no, no. Well, those little buggers don't have a way of just standing up for free the same way the uh, bull modelers do. So no, but when he does kill off the mind slaver or the mind bender units. That's the ones I don't I don't care. Yeah, then because because then they're one. they're prime targets for uh, three inches. So that's that's a nice drift. That was a nice Andy drift uh, <laughs> to the one for three inches. <laughs> oh yeah. So how's it taste your own medicine? <laughs> nah. <laughs> You'll see in a moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was just off an ancillary attack too, wasn't it? So, yeah. 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 The problem is, though, is they're all armor 17 right now yeah, under, yeah. under D-Cell. Well, so. with D-Cell, they're pretty resilient to AoEs. Yeah. Um, yep. Outside of things that, that have other effects, like lighting them on fire or knocking them down. or Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I hit one of the other ones, which were, you were trying to figure out what the armor was. and turned Found out it's insane. exactly yeah. it's exactly <laughs> the same for both of them. They just have different uh, melee, uh, melee weapons. Yeah. It's a little odd, but I, I suppose they had to do something to make them different. Otherwise, the... The mind menders would be outright superior. They're actually all, but they're both called drudge grunts too. Well, right. I mean, I mean yeah. that's 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 still true. But if you didn't do something to make the mind menders worse, why would you ever take the regular drudges? Yeah, that's true. Yep. And then uh, my turn ends. Sevy's camping on three. So, so I was actually feeling really good. I'm like, yeah, knock knock down the most of the first row of boom haulers. I'm like, this is. I'm feeling pretty good about this. About uh, preventing them from getting some charges in. And, and then uh, you remember the other thing that Boomhollers does? And then I remember the other thing that uh, Boomhollers do. <laughs> what? Call call of uh, uh, oh, whatever. Stand I, up from... I, I, from like, I have no idea what the name is. It's just a stand up call to me. Like, yeah. Call of Defiance is the four plus tough, but I can't remember the other ones. Yeah, I, I remember Rage Howler because that one's unique, and then there's um, Super Tough and uh, Please Stand Up. Yeah. But only if they're real some shady. <laughs> Oh, boy. So I'm not sure what happened here. I think I took a break. Or no. the video just stopped. Nope, nope, nope there's my hands. Going. Nope, something's, something's happening. So uh, another thing is I was, I actually thought Tristan was in a fairly decent spot where he was, and this is the first time using Tristan. Um, <laughs> some things to take away from this is uh, since he can be eight inches away from the Redeemer, uh, Make sure he is. Well, but they, right they don't the benefit benefit from uh, fortify as much, right? No, he won it, and uh, <laughs> I was doing that mainly so he wouldn't get knocked down and stuff. But yeah, I, fortify was I had put it on the redeemer to move and moved him up into base to base for that thing, and then I was gonna have him work with the other jacks when fortify. Um, the problem with it is, is even though. It doesn't look like Tristan is too far up right now. He should have actually been back behind. Well, he's the got a lot of other units side. out there that will reach out he's, and touch you. Yeah. He's perfectly fine right now. He well, doesn't... even just eyeballing it, those overlords can probably shuffle along five or six, and they've got eight inch sprays that can go right over that cover. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I mean, neither do I. Um, <laughs> that's not something they can do. They stand around and look pretty, and that's all they got. The cheerleaders of the Cephalix. Yeah. Didn't really know about the 8-inch sprays on the Overlords. But, uh, oh, you didn't? No. Oh. That, well, that, that, in a nutshell, that is the Overlords. They they don't do much else. Yeah, they, yeah. like I, I knew about you know the drudge units and stuff like that, but don't really didn't really know a whole lot about the Overlords or anything, or those. But uh, And I knew about the monstrosities and stuff, but the well, the other little ancillary pieces I wasn't mm. that familiar with, but... Well, the, the overlords in a lot of cases are one of those innocuous little threats. Like, on their own, they're, they're not going to do a whole bunch, but if you ignore them too long, they're going to get into a bad position for your army and just start punishing you horribly yeah. for it. Yep. Um, yeah, I think I'm just staring at the table right now trying to figure out <laughs> if it's... If Greenfelt? It's, yes, it is. Yeah, if it's Greenfelt. <laughs> 
this room is really hot, and I can't get this room to cool down. So mm-hmm. I apologize for the people doing the commentary right now. Oh. Eh. For those of you who can't see, I'm busy wearing my thong with a star on the front. It's super hot. In more ways than one. Giggity. <laughs> there we go. It looks like I just popped uh, my ability on Boomholler to yep. pick everybody up for free. Everyone Stand just up, stands boys. up. And it looks like it might take some charges. Uh, no, they're once... going uh, to aim and shoot, right? Yeah, they're going to aim and shoot, yes. <laughs> Um, slight thing I forgot about with these guys is that uh, that was me checking line of sight because you can check that at any time to see if you can see a model. Uh, is that I forgot that they have defensive ward on. Oh, oh yeah, I, uh, my guys. Yeah. That honestly would have changed what you were going to do. Um, you were going to you were going to shove those boom howlers all up in that regardless. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. And since they're not if, drudges, you don't have a lot of ways if of boosting I didn't, them. If I didn't, uh, I might have actually just taken a run instead of the charge. Because that way I could have made sure that a lot of them were up there. And I could have just done a 4 plus, four plus tough again. Right. Because I, compl- mm. I thought because there were, I thought there were 12s. And that would be, you know, at least 6s to hit. And mm-hmm. needing 8s to hit usually just... It doesn't get it done. I mean, when they hit, they are usually going to kill things because it's still pow twelve. Yeah, but so would have. I mean, it would have been dice minus six. Wait, no, I think they're, I think they're fives. No, 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 they're sixes. Six mats. Yeah, they're six mat. Yeah, it's shooting is actually the worst part of them. <laughs> yeah, and and honestly, the, that's more of an optimistic kind of thing. Like, what is that dude knocked down? Yeah, I got a gun. You know. But I mean, it's it's a, an extra little ace in the hole to, to use with boom howlers. Yeah, know? I mean you're getting because they didn't do enough already. I mean you're getting to the second line with a couple of them. So, yep, yeah. using that flag to my advantage. Yep, to, so I could charge over it. Yeah, see, I I don't see how like you'd gotten the four plus tough and that's it. But I still think you're better off swinging at a couple guys trying to kill them than than hoping yeah. for that one more better on the tough checks. Yep. Ooh, there's that Dominator. Yeah, he's getting awfully close. That's going to be a little uncomfortable. Yeah, he had to get there. He had to move up mainly for command. Well, I figured he could have stayed back near the edge of one of those that wall and probably still been relatively safe. I mean, he would have been out of sack mm. pawn range, I guess. They have Hunter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was the only thing. So they have Hunter, and he wasn't really safe anywhere. He was just probably more safe. Closer to melee. Where he's got more pawns to, to sack, too. Yeah. No, that that makes sense. It's just normally, like, you have one of those guys who's like, eh, it's an important linchpin, I want him nowhere near that fight. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah, well, you only needed, what, sixes or whatnot. To no, him, he needed... So. Oh, Because need yeah. you're going against a Seneschal right now. Oh, oh yeah. So, yeah. So you go and hit the Seneschal, and then I just have him sack pawn someone else, so he's... Dirty, using my tricks against myself. (laughs) So, of course, I just sack pawn one of the guys that you had charged so you didn't get that attack, so... Actually, I do remember this because, yeah, you... Yeah, this... I did it a couple times. Happens a couple more times. Yeah. Sack pawn's a bitch. You know, it's... The errands are plenty damn good, but but sack pawn is what really takes them over the top. I I still can't believe everything that they've got on that stack card and then the price tag to go along with it. There goes another guy. Oh, he doesn't get his charge attack. Okay. And gone. Yep. Wop wop. It, that is a nice that way awesome. to take care of charges, though. And if, you, uh, if you notice there, uh, someone for was forgetting to bring, do any tough checks. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh, there's one. Oh, there's the other. Nope, neither one toughed. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Rupert. You're my buddy. <laughs> Rupert's got your back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he literally has the back. He's back there. <laughs> well, it's it's dire straits when Rupert sees the front line with his uh, devastating, what, power nine sword. Oh, I've charged shit with that. Oh, yeah, you, you, you do it, but... It's I'm willing to bet things are getting pretty desperate. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's a last resort. Th- that's not one of those like, and I'm sending Rupert in, <laughs> quaking your boots. 
So I'm pretty sure the boom hollers didn't get as much done as what Andy was hoping, but uh, they they honestly just wanted I wanted to just tie to just up. tie it up there. Yeah, uh, and I yeah, mean, I said nothing will ever claim that flag again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the boom hollers and the errants are sort of there for the same thing. Yeah, it's basically battle of the tar pits. Who yep. who is stickier? Yeah. Ooh, well, we know the answer to that question. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot to clear out a boom holler crew. Yeah, especially if I can get the four plus stuff going. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, if if if, if there's going to be a turn to kill those boomhollers, it's going to be this one. Oh, but there's other threats apparently. Oh, um, monstrosity! Oh. Probably my favorite model. Well, besides the clamps, <laughs> I, I really, really like the wreckers. Wreckers are are very tough. Um, yeah. I, I think I might start trying to pick out two of them in a list and go one less. Uh, Less warden, but uh, man, those things. Them yeah. with them with the agitator can get some shit rolling. Yeah, yeah. No, they well, are. Yeah. I mean, two reach attacks and two reach attacks that are chain weapons yeah. that have beat back, and then he has chain attack beat back. Yeah, or chain attack uh, bloodbath. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Those and, and only seventeen armor, but you know, thirty six boxes like that. It's just. Uh, <laughs> You don't think that, you know, four more boxes is a lot to chew through and stuff, but... Oh, well, I mean, it, 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 it is. It, it makes a big difference, particularly in armies that are good, traditionally good at accurate firepower. Yeah. Because accuracy doesn't make much of a difference against the piles of meat. Yep. And so that extra four points can be just enough to leave them alive, and then there's still a problem. Because you can... Oh, you can't heal them like a war beast, but... um. Which ones? The the monstrosities. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I you... thought it was just psychosurgery from no, the caster. Psychosurgery, they do have that, but they're monstrosities, they can be healed just like war beasts. They they have very a lot of similarities between war jacks and war beasts. Um, but there's a lot of things in the game that do not affect them. Like you can't uh rampage them, you can't uh, uh well boom howler is my favorite ability. Rage howler does not affect them. Because <laughs> they're neither a war beast nor a war jack. Yep. That equals good times. Yeah. That might come up. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I just basically all I'm doing right here is I'm just running my slavers up uh, just to get in position. I'm really trying to prevent the adjudicator from really advancing really that close to my monstrosities. Um, and then I'm moving the mind benders up close enough where they can possibly uh, start doing some adrenal floods onto the. Yeah. Well, I mean, speaking of a spot where four extra boxes isn't going to make a difference, that uh, that Colossal's not going to care about uh, four extra hit boxes. Which is really funny that no. you worry about the Adjudicator. I mean, get into the monstrosities from where they are would be pretty difficult, but the fact that you were worried about it moving up, because I was actually just be like, he's just going to sit back here and just shoot into that mob of guys. Yeah, that, that's that's very true, too. So, oh, look, my pistol whoa, rate's moved whoa. up. Oh, pistol rate. Ah. Pistol rates can't do anything. They're, oh, he can see, he can see Tristan. Barely. Oh, oh no. Yeah, just a line of sight to him. Well, from that spot, I'm pretty certain he could have moved that pistol wraith, you know, an, an inch back and an inch yeah, to the he right. Yeah, he could have moved him. You know, like, and still had plenty of was, range. It was actually right at range. For really? Him. Yeah. It's really hard to tell looking through a camera. So you, I think you missed the first one. That one did hit. Hit the second one. The problem with the juniors, the new juniors, is that they're all pretty low armor. So even a POW 12 to them hey, is pretty damaging. He's 15 up to a 16 camping yeah, one. Yeah, but you're not solving that. <laughs> See, Holy <nope>. cow. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got more, he's got one more armor than Sevy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a high threshold to meet. <laughs> Sevy's tissue paper of men off some pretty beefy stuff. So so can uh here's a question. Can you guess what the Redeemer's gonna do for the rest of the game? Um I'm willing to bet it's going to total his army the second you reactivate it, right? Oh yeah, yeah. once you run Sevy over there next to the pistol wraith with one. Yeah, fo- he has high priority to reactivate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, he called it. <laughs> and now my overlords are like, oh, wait, there's nothing, no AoEs in front of us? Oh, <laughs> run. <laughs> yeah, I was I was really hoping for next round for the two <laughs> AOEs from the Judicator and the three more from the Redeemer to really get some work done in there. And uh, losing those three from the Redeemer definitely made me sad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm I may have just weeped a little bit inside. Oh, when my, yeah, happened. they're getting bold. Well, I mean, look what's over there. Hey, uh, I've seen Choir kill beefier choir targets than that. 
Vassal. I you mean, can, there's, there's a blessing of vengeance there, but you can ask Alex Shaver down in down in the Springfield, Illinois. <laughs> I killed uh, Fiora too with a choir member. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that is the that is the, probably the highlight of that choir member's entire life. <laughs> and it was under escort. Wow. Oh, my God. So I think she was defense 17 or so. It's up there. She yeah, gets. She had to roll boxcars. Uh, well, she's default. Like it was either boxcars or 11. Uh, it, she might have. She, she mobby. She was not in uh, in, in, in escort because there was she had okay. no more jacks at the time. Okay, so it was oh, it yeah. was only because they're Matt four. Yeah, they're Matt four. Yeah, yeah. And she was a defense so. fifteen. So yeah, yeah, I needed eleven to hit. That's what <laughs> it was. And then he started on fire. <laughs> well, because <laughs> he was small price to pay, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that was a glorious game. Um, it would have been one that I would have wished we would have been able to record. But this is back at DICON like three, four years ago. It just ended up with. It just got <laughs> nothing naturey in here. <laughs> it's um, all naturey in my pants. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was it was basically uh, a Fiora versus Fiora match. Oh. So it was a nice mirror match. It was a great mm-hmm. game. Um, I don't know what I just said. Yeah, stuff and things. Oh, uh, that other pistol race. I think he was taking some shots. Oh yeah, he was up there trying to shoot. I think I was trying to shoot your leader. I think so. And uh, I failed miserably. Yeah. And there goes there goes my one of my favorite models in this game is the Agitators. I really can't wait for the theme for us to come out because <laughs> in the No Quarter they mentioned that the, they had two benefits in there. One was Mind Slavers. They get the chance to ambush. Oh, God. Uh, is a Tier 2 benefit. And then a Tier 3 benefit, they get one extra, one free Agitator. And the Ooh. only things you basically lose out of the army is, like, the Pistol Wraiths. So... But having ambushing mind slavers is pretty that, pretty that darn seems, sexy. Uh, mean. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things when they get ambushed get real lethal. I've been dying to try out like the epic Grimm's tier force where he gets ambushing scouts. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> so I use a little trick here. I don't think I had any focus on that warden back there. Nope. Uh, cast deceleration again, um, but. I think Exelon can. I think there, if there's enemy models within ten inches of him, his battle group gets to run or charge for free. And so my warden was able to get up there from the back end because I think there's at least one guy within ten of Exelon right now. Uh, yeah, I think it probably would be one of the one of the errands. Yeah, Exelon's Excel- Excel- running enough. running fairly close, but he's got a healthy chunk of meat in front of him. Well, I mean this this. Scenario did go and have killbox on it, so we're both looking at uh, that. Even that excellent looks like he's a pretty good distance outside of that killbox. Yeah. He's just yeah, he's he's for, up for, there quite for a ways, a, for a lar- for a medium based model like that and just impress me. Excellent's <laughs> got about the same defensive stats as Sevy does. As a harbinger, he's he's horrible at, at defense. Yeah. He's defense fourteen and has only fifteen health boxes, so he uh, just goes yeah, down he... like really bad. Um, yeah, but he can transfer a lot of stuff off to his... Uh, well, he can't transfer. He's not not, not a, transfer, but uh, they have... Only against range attacks. Yeah, yeah. okay. Get range. He, has, he has sack palm monstrosity, but then the wardens also have also have shield guard. Right. But, yeah, it's it's it, it's only against uh, shooting. Yeah. I would have to do a lot to be able to go and uh, get up there and melee with him. <laughs> yeah. That's all, that's all I'm saying is uh, between those three monstrosities and stuff, well, no, but I mean, there's, there's something you said about the psychological game of, ha- of forcing him to use sack pawn or right. things like yep. that, where like you put enough concentrated firepower his direction, he's going to have to stop, take a breath, and go, maybe I need to rethink my position. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and here I went, and I believe I went and, uh, with the book, I went and gave the errant so they now, uh, their which is, weapons cause fire. So Yep, which is interesting. I, I kind of thought... Again, whenever I'm taking on somebody, I always think that they're going to have the book give no knockdown or right. no spells. Um, I, I well, but you don't have a lot to knock him down. You like outside of tough checks, he's yeah. For for me, yeah, I don't have that much to knock him down. Yeah, uh, no spells would have actually been very useful against me too, because generally, almost all of my all of my big beasts in that 
Yeah, the no spells they need the really boned those uh, right. overlords over near that wall. Which which we might find out in a moment. <laughs> but I at, at this point I knew your uh I knew your boom hollers and stuff, you know, tough and all that. So I, I figured I'd like to try and even to uh, set, them them, fire. Set, set them on fire. Yeah. Yep. If I make my tough check, then you're going to make me regret yeah. it. But yeah. I, I, I can't fault him for actually using the fire in a circumstance. Nope. Uh, it actually comes up in a very useful situation in a moment here. <laughs> and now I'm uh, starting to do my spoilers. charge attacks and stuff. So. Yep. One thing that you need to put down as a token next to the models, I know that Muse doesn't make them, but uh, Quick Fire would be a nice token to have. Yeah, <laughs> Quick Work. Yeah. Quick Work, yeah. That would be a nice one just to give me a nice reminder. I'll say you shouldn't really need a token for that because it just, hap- it just happened. Yeah, it's but, but just, I, happens, I just but some sort of visual reminder that, you know, hey, these guys actually oh. have that. So. Yeah, Quick Work could have done some. Well, with the sell up, it's a little. I know. They're blessed crossbows. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I'm well, I mean, I, I do remember <laughs> Quick Work on. So, like, some of them, it didn't matter because there was someone, you know, they were. Oh, somebody's enough. in yeah. melee. At yeah, the there time, was yeah. within melee. But uh, yeah. there was a couple that I did. Yeah, that one right there, I think I just did Quick Work on, but. No, it's goddamn errands. Yeah, I didn't. That's that's the end of the story. I think I basically I I made him pay for taking fire uh, by just not making any of my tough checks. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, you didn't make a. I mean, yeah, that's a that's a harsh punishment. (laughs) I bet he was regretting it every moment. (laughs) I think we were checking right there to see if he he was in melee range of uh, the monstrosity. Monstrosity, yeah. yeah. See if he could do his quick work or not. <laughs> I and think that's gone. three straight tough checks you failed, but well, he did make a lot round one. So yeah, no, oh, here's here comes the big one. Oh, oh no. gosh, the pistol wraith. Yeah, it was uh, the quick work shot to the pistol. Can't wraith, blame him so. for that yep. either. Yeah, you you want those things dead as soon as possible, especially when you've got a colossal on the board. Yep. And yeah, I it looks missed. like a negatory. Yep. No. Nope. Uh, or, or was that? Oh, that, oh, that's right. That, that was the fours. charge attack. I need fours to hit. These are non charges, yeah. Well, even then, the air yeah, mat with, seven, aren't they? So uh, Mat seven up to eight under eye. And he yeah, was 12, you're, you're so not really going to be missing yeah, boom hollers that easily. I needed fours, so. Uh, here's the quick work shot of the boom holler. That's a hit with an 11. <laughs> Which I just put down Send the fire, fire. token. Yeah. I, you can't possibly kill boom holler with one hit. <laughs> I don't know, you did it to Tristan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't possibly kill Boom Hall with one hit. Nope. No, but no. You still don't want a model like that on fire. <laughs> no, definitely do not want him on fire. Especially because if the fire knocks him down, then you really can't uh, yeah, fix know. anything. Those are some hot dice there, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're doing enough, though. Oh, if I call Defiance up. They were doing enough. I mean, if you had called defiance up, there wouldn't have been some dead errands instead, and there would have been more attacks. Dead? <laughs> what? Logic. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I mean, of course. <laughs> called defiance would have won the game right then and there. <laughs> I think most of my tough checks were all threes anyway. <laughs> Except for that one. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. dude. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I keep on giggling, and the monitor keeps on moving. Yeah. So, yeah, the Shanna shell did nothing, but, uh, oh well. I mean, you obliterated most of the unit of Yeah, Looks yeah. Looks like there's, what, maybe four dudes left in it? Yeah, there's not much. Yeah. It'd and be almost like if I would, I would want to move my Dominator to another unit now. Yeah. <laughs> so they're doing... Uh, my choir went, they did battle, and uh, just for uh, shits and giggles, I gave the Redeemer battle also, because he's going to do a lot. <laughs> I suppose he still technically gets the benefits, he just doesn't get to do anything with them. Yeah. Yeah. Should have prepped him against spells. So yeah. I still yeah. think you should have just ran Sevi over there two turns. Because <laughs> you would have had to run to get over there, and then also to 
actually walk to him. Yeah, you'd probably be running two turns yeah. just to get to that jack. Yeah, you just give up on well, on the what five point jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's done. It's gone. It's okay, the choir got this. Yep. Well, I mean, choir IMNA giving uh, plus three to uh, adjudicator and stuff. I'm like, yeah, they, we got we got some of this going on. So what I think you, I mean, I know you're really going after the 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 drudge grunts. Yeah, I think you would have been a better shot, at least on this first one here, is going after after that monstrosity because then you yeah. would have hit the agitator behind it. I saw when I when he started shooting, I suddenly said, "Oh no!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I I realized I probably should have went after the monstrosity because they are lower defense. So I could would have been easier to hit for me. So. Well, the difference between the defense of a drudge and a monstrosity is not substantial. I no, guess. it's no, one point, but yeah. it, it's still one point. But you have you would hit the monstrosity, be able to do direct damage, which would be dice minus five. Yeah, yeah, that's or, that's the bigger thing. Or, is the blast yeah, damage been, on those. Yeah, he would have been eighteen blast damage. Was fourteen up to a seventeen under I and stuff. So. With those guns are eighteen. What? No, the guns are fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Yeah. yeah so the blast be seven. So the blast be seven it? up to a ten. Yeah. Well, but. they're they're fourteens up to a sixteen for battle, right? Plus one for I. Plus one for I. So seventeen. So basically, you're doing dice minus one if you just hit a monstrosity yeah. with them. And then you're doing like nine to the guys around them. Yeah. Nine yeah. ten, and that's that's gonna kill an agitator pretty pretty easily. I w- I was more. That's probably I, that's why I probably should have did. Um, I was really more worried about getting those guys out of the way, so you couldn't go and uh, use them for spells to go and uh, to go and move those other guys up. But yeah, that's fair. I mean, sometimes it's just We're, getting some some damage out there because shooting down a monstrosity is a, is a pretty tough task, but. Getting the damage yeah. on him to begin with when you when you don't have a lot of major hitters other than the colossal might be worth it at that point. Yeah, yeah, because I I targeted him and actually hit him and then you moved all the damage over to the well, yeah, because the shield guard. Yeah. Oh, what did I shoot? Oh, yeah, you. Would, he, I think you you pegged the the overlord. Uh, yeah, I pegged that guy. And on you would, I think you had moved it over to the the warder. Yeah. Oh, and then here I was. Uh, oh yeah, no. <laughs> and then here it goes two to the one. Yeah, because the, the one, two, the one so. that missed, and then you you actually pegged the uh, yeah. the leader model yeah. the, with the drift, and I can't hurt. I can't. I can't shield guard drifts. Oh, nor no. can I sack pawn drifts. <laughs> no, <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't do enough to actually do anything to him. So, well, no, but it'll put put the fear into him. Yeah, and nothing. So. <laughs> Well, and now I take another shot. With the other side. I think I'm so much defense artillery. 16 with him, so yeah. that's another miss. But you only I, drift two inches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, so, it was four you, inches you get, back. Man, that's, so. That Suffolk is not in a good spot. No. Well, get his buddy on the hill. Nope. Yeah. And he's got the much lower armor, so... Yeah. Tough. And he's tough. No, no. Well, that's going to happen with Come the drudges. But, but knocking down a drudge does take a lot of its momentum away. Yep. And boosting now. <laughs> I learned from last time. Oh, yeah. That stuff looks isn't going to like that. So I... Th- I they're five points, and I was dice minus five, so I think I straight out killed it. Yeah. Yep. So now their command is down to four. That's okay. Mm-hmm. There's only, what, six dudes left? Yeah. And depending on who decided to make the leader, only two to three of them are out of formation. <laughs> I think I made the, the guy who's knocked down the leader. Yeah, I believe he did. <laughs> <laughs> he was the most centrally located. So I got my little leader token, just like a little skull. I'm eating up a lot of your clock there. I'm sorry. Yeah. Try to designate a leader. And now I'm going to do sprays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> God. There's a lot of firepower in that thing. The, the, judicator, this, the judicator right here just eats up a lot of my clock. Just me deciding 
what do I want to go after and just rolling all the deviations and all that stuff. He's got so many good shots. He, he's easily one of my favorite jacks. I just, out of all the consoles I have purchased, he is the one I have not purchased. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't, have, don't have a judicator. judicator. Oh. Nope. Hmm. Nope. But I have myself a conquest and a and a warp monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you? Own, well, probably because you don't play Protector. I forever, haven't played but, Protector in forever. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no justification to actually pick one up. So not yet, not yet. I, I I might venture back into them, but right now I've been I'm pretty hard with my Cephalix. I'd like them to come up with something to help uh, bring back drudges. Like it's, like we went over before is they have the overlords and they have the leader of the mind slavers but uh, if you're going in there with the overlords you're losing out on a uh, pow 8 spray or a pow 12 spray yeah that's just really good yeah yep. and, and the the mat in the overlord isn't terribly impressive either so no it's it's less than the spray so i mean it's you, you're just almost better off just just spraying whatever you're going after yep so i had the um, Blessing of Vengeance just move up uh, to go there, and we were just, uh, he had plenty of movement. We just moved him up just a little bit farther, so he went to uh, be attacking over the wall. Yep. So. Yeah, and that any ba- any part of the base that goes over is considered cover. Yeah. Or the, the defense bonus for right. over a wall. All the rules that may not uh, make much of a difference. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. Well, their defense is actually 14, so they would have been 16 oh. over a wall. Yeah. But that yeah. didn't matter. Yeah, that didn't matter. <laughs> I, Acquired up you, Jack is going to murder them horribly. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and, and what am I going to do? No. No. Just too far out. Huh? Well, two overlords are still a problem. Yeah. Oh, I was scared to death of Ashes to Ashes, too. Does, he doesn't have that, does he? Oh, yeah. Yes, he does. He does. He yeah. does. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was scared to death of that. Because that, that, I can't sack upon that. Yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, well, it'll come up. <laughs> it'll it'll come up. I'm just going to put it out there. Well, I mean, that's why you've done a pretty good job of, of picking up a lot of Andy's models. Those The drudge units have gotten kind of smallish, and the big thing is there's three monstrosities looking around that haven't been stu- that had not been touched. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I... Th- I think you shot somebody with an AOE. Probably oh, I, I moved. Yeah, I moved the Judicator up, and I actually shot the guy that was knocked down with the AOE because uh, I went uh, ancillary attack oh, on yep. the Judicator from uh, from the vassal and killed the guy that was knocked down, but didn't hurt anyone else. So I'm not sure who was just moved behind uh, there. That would be oh, Savvy that would feeding. be Severius with his wonderful feet. Who hey. you would what you you would forgot what his feet did? So. Oh, I did. I asked the the horrible question. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what's his feet do? Yeah, what's, what's his feet do? Yep. Uh, it, it what? <laughs> it bends you over the table for a turn. Didn't oh, you remember that? He did not like that. No, because no. uh, definitely looks like that. Uh, I'm in it. Yeah. <laughs> no. No focus for there you. There goes my focus. I, I I started throwing models off screen too. You guys didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, that turn for me only went and took uh, fifteen minutes. So, yeah, well, but that's that's, that's what happens. Like the second turn is usually a big push. Turn. Yeah, because that's the turn where you're typically killing a, a lot of models, or you're starting to kill a lot of models and stuff. And so, secondary abilities of Severius's feet. Not only do you lose all focus that are out, that's out there, you also cannot generate new focus, and you cannot cast. Or channel spells while in his control area. No, you lose arc node ability. Yep. Oh, you lose the arc node ability. Yeah. Not not the ability to channel. Yep. Oh, yeah. Here we're checking fire, and uh, I rolled box cars. Oh, and then he. Tuffs. Yeah, I made my tough check. Yeah. <laughs> With Boomhauer, who died. Yeah. <laughs> Still on fire. Well, yeah, but, but and also knocked down, so it limits what he can do. So there is that. Yep. Didn't Wait a limit second. it enough. You, Twelve you, dice minus four. Oh, and he rolled a 12. That's yeah. 8. Yeah. Hey, math! <laughs> yeah, math's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so retarded. <laughs> I don't know why what I was pointing at there. but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I, was, I, was, I don't know. I, I think I stared at the board for a pretty decent amount of time 
just trying to figure out what I can do because yeah. Well, well I was were... in the store at the time, and I could tell that feet had put you on your on, on on your heels. Just didn't really know what to do next. Yeah, because it just basically my whole army is all about the magic, and I so. essentially just eliminated that for me. Yeah. So. Yeah, that is something we've been discussing. The stuff like are, are really neat, but they've got a couple of uh, big weaknesses that really put a hole in the army. Yeah, and, and anti magic is one of them. And any yeah. other way you can you can direct an attack that can't be shield guarded. Yeah. So so storm smith strikes or uh, well placed lightning arcs or magic bullets. Haley too. <laughs> okay, yeah, I I uh, yeah. this weekend when we were doing our tournament, I played. I've been making a habit of trying to play somebody during the buy, okay. if if it's and I've been trying to play him with Cephalix yep. just because I want to mm-hmm. get more experience with them. Oh yeah, um, but I took on Haley too. Oh. I, I didn't expect that. Um, so I did okay against her. Um, thing is though, when she has nine focus, she sure as hell can arcane bolt uh, him to death. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, because <laughs> Exelon is only he's only defense fourteen, and mm-hmm. she's and he's a medium base, so she can cast through Thorn and just murder him. Yep. Yeah. Here's where you start picking up models because you uh, decided that you could move out of uh, my feet range. Yep. To then start uh, doing Adrenal Floods. Yep. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. I did the same thing to him too. He he moved up the the guy that had Haley too. Yeah. He moved up his stormclad, killed off one of my one of my uh, monstrosities, oh. and then I have then he popped his feet, and I couldn't move my my mind mind slave <laughs> mind benders, and I'm like, oh, I popped Petrina floods on three of them, and they both walk up because <laughs> I sacrificed my movement. Yeah. Yep. As her feet, and <laughs> yeah, she didn't like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'm doing here. Is I moved my my leader back, started casting Adrenal Floods out onto the Mind Slaver unit, which some of them are actually out of formation, but because of how the Adrenal Floods work, they go back into formation. <laughs> yeah, because it's an immediate what four inch advance. Yep, four inch well, advance. I think, I think when you move them out like this is when they moved out of formation. Because uh, I think you had your guys up th- farther on the t- on the top there. I think those guys sort of moved out of formation once you did the adrenal floods on yeah. these guys over here. So, but yeah, because uh, they're now just a four, right? Command range. They're command yeah. range four. Yeah. Command yeah. range four. Yeah. So. Um, but all it needs is that little troop to start doing some serious damage. Yep. Yeah. So now all the rest of the guys can do is they can if I'm gonna charge with them or something. But yeah, that's the only magic I got off this turn. Yeah, because <laughs> of that. Yeah, oh, there wasn't. Oh, wait, I got something awesome coming up too. I forgot about that. <laughs> Ooh, the suspense. <laughs> Ooh, it's not really that awesome. <laughs> it's, Way to build up your own story and just crash it down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> yeah. So that's the last Adrenal Flood movement. Yep. They look pretty sexy with red tokens next to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what they're going to do. I think they're going to go take care of that light jack. That seems seems like a good plan, right? That, that's where I would go. Yeah. You know, go take care of the arc node. That's, mm-hmm. that's probably a good place to go to. Or, or maybe try to scrap that one that can't activate because the uh, caster's dead just to make certain he can't be brought back. Exactly. He's he's a prime target to go after. So I think I was checking for leadership there. Yeah, I think you were checking to see if they were in command. So, yeah. nope, they're going after the colossal. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I never would have guessed. I am so surprised right now. <laughs> oh, they have to. They have to run towards the leader. Oh. Which uh, something funny happens to the leader uh, on my next turn too. So, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Spoilers! Spoilers! I didn't say what it was. It's like, uh. It's got information, right? It's good good (laughs) enough. Make sure. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Four inches is a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You're not supposed to lose your cephalix. Yeah. 
uh, stupid uh, cricks complaining about their other guys, the the mechanothralls, if they lose their leader. At least they have six. <laughs> Four inches is not doable. Yeah, I, I think the only way you were missing here is double ones because uh, I'm well, defense eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a colossal. I mean, yeah. you can't expect misses to happen with anything shy of an archangel. And really. I can't remember what it was minus because you know, with adrenal floods up and stuff. Cause I'm they they go up to POW 18. Okay, so it was dice minus one. That's Yeah. Is there normally. No, no, uh, there are 16s. Sorry. Uh, 16s. If I had. If I was able to get one of the. Agitators up okay, there. Okay, yeah. So it's it'd nice be eighteen. Three. So you went on, on that first one. You went and did uh, nine points of damage, I think. Yeah. So then there's eight more or seven more points of damage. Yep. It's a pretty good chunk out of a colossal for yeah, just three for three trooper guys. models. Yeah. These these guys do do uh, quite a bit of damage here. I think you roll a little bit low on this one, but can't really. Remember. I think, no, it was, I think still, it was six there's a lot well. of black there. marks in that colossal that. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm, it looks like a limb might have gotten ripped off. Maybe no, there was no actual systems out yet. Okay, so. it ain't doing well. No, that that one that left side is uh, is hurting, but the yeah, hero is just clarifying some stuff. So, yeah. namely, if uh, the spray on the left side goes out, does that mean that the spray is actually was it the spray? I can't remember what I think it was the spray, but. I just don't play with the Judicator enough, mainly because I don't play with uh, Sevi or Fiora as my primary casters. Yeah, he's really good with Fiora. All those AoEs started well, yeah, everything on fire. Stuff stupid. On fire yeah. Stupidly awesome. Yeah. I would, I would think that uh, maybe, in this list at least, maybe just switching out the caster and putting in Fiora would... You've got a lot of ranged firepower that Iamanoth really helps out, though. Right. Yeah. That, that, that's why I went with Sevi in this one, was because of Iamanoth with all, all the shooting in this one, so... And the shooting also affects uh, Tristan's jack, too, because that just affects all all, yep. all protector. Yeah. yeah. Like, if, if Tristan weren't in the list, you know, then maybe swap it out and get another unit in there or something like that. Well, I went and originally had... Before I put the Tristan and the Redeemer in, I went in and the Blessing. I I think I had it set up as a Judicator Double Reckoner. Hmm. But uh, since I had never played with Tristan and I had just actually got him painted up, I wanted to play with him. And I don't think there's a better Jack to play him with than with the Redeemer. I mean, you just upkeep Fortify or whatnot, and then you just feed him three focus. and Fortify gives what again? Uh... Plus two, plus two armor, armor I'm and can't be knocked down by blast damage. Anyone he's face to base with can't be knocked down by blast damage. You know, it might be a good choice for him too. Is the Templar? Mm, yeah, is the armor twenty three Templar walking up the oh. field with Tristan yeah. following it? That's <laughs> pretty. <laughs> but pretty. We, cool. we discovered how squishy Tristan's. So I don't think you'd want to get him that close to the danger. You'd have to make sure that Templar is really walling off some stuff. Yeah, or, or honestly, even. Well, if you could actually improve their their fist power, the uh, vigilant. Yeah, I could see the vigilant being used because that's still armor twenty three as well, and that's yeah, a light. I mean, he but... would be. Uh, you just move him up there and just make him just uh, a scenario piece. But like, come try and take the zone. I'll He's say, just yeah. gonna I, sit there. I think if you want a scenario piece, him with a devout could actually go a long way. Yeah. Um, yeah. A little bit of shield guard going on, defensive strikes, and you can feed it some focus, so it can actually be a little aggressive. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the Boom Howler is on it again. Yep. Um, I did Rage Howler. Yes. I, I think, oh, sure you're a was... cheater. <laughs> <laughs> Boom Howler can't activate this turn. He was knocked down on your turn. He can't. He can't even Rage Howler. No. You oh. have to have an activation to be able to do anything. You clarified that with uh, Nathan that he could. Yeah. Hmm. I maybe you've I, been playing it wrong. I, maybe. But, well, I, I, since I played Troll Bloods, I'm a little bit more familiar with like the knockdown mechanics, right. where a continuous effect knocks a model down. You don't get to activate it because right. it was knocked down on your turn. Yeah, hmm. that sounds very, very right. I don't think it really mattered because it was targeting a Jack that's incredibly inaccurate in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's something we definitely did wrong then. Yeah. Thinking about it, that's your. I. I, I I wouldn't say I'm at like 95% sure that you're right. 
Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons you don't want those continuous effects lurking on on some of those dudes is because yeah. you just having them fall over will really cripple your offense. Yeah. Like worse than if they would have just died in some cases. Well, it would have been better if Boom Heller died the, and made his tough roll on Jeremy's turn. Right, correct. Because then then if he would have died to fire and made his tough check, he it wouldn't, wouldn't be suffering suffering the knockdown effect on his turn. Yep. Or on, uh, on my activation turn. You uh, made two attacks against that errant. Uh, missed the first one, hit the second one. Oh. Was, and I actually... Uh, <laughs> you actually tuffed. made a tough check. What the hell? I, I don't understand this. Doesn't sound right. I think he makes more of them. <laughs> <laughs> I That's never it. make tough checks. Actually, I mean, I probably make average on the tough checks, which is one in three, which is you know, what you're well, supposed I mean, to do, uh, but... It, it's always nice to have tough, but but never ever ever bank on making a yeah. tough roll. It is the worst mistake you can possibly make on the on the field. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't really banking on this, but it's just nice to give Aaron's defenders ward and then tough. Somehow. Yeah, yeah. So here's my oh, that's what it was. I Bring moved the clamps, moved the monstrosity up, and I moved the clamps up. And he attacks and misses. He charged, yeah, attacks and misses, and attacks and misses. Uh, oh no! No, nope, hit, I actually I did tough. hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, yeah, and then I hit him again. Uh, right, I'd be the third attack. The second one, but I hit the, damage. He's roll only he, actually the the odd part about him is he's, he's only power fourteen. No, oh, but he's got yeah. three initials, yeah. and and agitators are normally a thing. Yeah, normally. I'll make sure in most of my lists from now on. I'll have all three of them in it because they are so good. And I think who that was. I think that was one of the agitators moving up to position yeah. himself. Yeah. Well, because the agitators don't have a very large range in insight, and they're not exactly fast. No. Nope. There goes my other warden. <laughs> so I'm doing sexy things like uh, positioning things so they can be sacked pawn to, which. Technically, the agitators, they sack pawn three inches, and then the wardens actually have a shield guard within <laughs> two inches. So I'm just overcompensating. And then you just moved uh, him but behind the wall. Why would he ever hide behind a wall? That makes no sense yeah, or whatsoever. It's not like uh, <laughs> I would want to shoot Judicator at him or anything. Oh, God. <laughs> that's, a, that's a long shot with some drudges. Well, there, where I he thought, was, so. I probably could have got him with my... Mm, because no. he's got a 14 inch range on the rockets so where he was I probably could have got him but, uh, here I am trying to teach Jeremy another lesson yeah the Piper's in the open Piper's in the open just, just double checking the range I have it I just need a 7 it's That's or an eight. Eight. it's an 8 I do. You, you hit and I don't do enough damage no I think <laughs> you did I think you end up doing like 2 to him but yeah. not enough Another seven? Oh. oh. Womp womp. The Piper lives with more. <laughs> I was going to say, like, what else could you have gone for? But Because he was running out of dudes pretty quick. But, yeah. Yeah, he didn't have much else to go at other than the Piper, perhaps, if you were feeling overzealous the book. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm I'm not sure about this list is I just I mean other than the one uh the other than the errants, I don't have a lot of uh just units in it. Yeah, it's hard when you when you drop a you know, a, a nineteen colossal. point jack on the field yeah. and have a a marshalled jack on top of it. Yep. Not a marshalled, but a, a juniored. Yeah. It's the, uh the points add up really quick. And I mean if there's a faction to be able to pull it off, Manoth is it. Right. Yeah, here's something obnoxious. I, I didn't realize I had I didn't have a second target to shoot at with the pistol wraith. Because <laughs> I think I, I did not kill him here. I left him at a couple health. Uh, which one were you going with again? Going after the... Oh, yeah. The, oh, no, no, I no, did the kill vassal, the vassal. Yeah, you got him, yeah. But, you know what? I should have shot at the other choir member who's sitting over behind... Maybe my angle, I couldn't see him. And that might be... Oh, that should have been 10. Well... I don't know if the choir... I mean, if you had just take the shot, yeah, but yeah. at this point, the choir is rooted in that that, that uh, Judicator is always going to have that bonus. Yeah. Yeah, that and I, I, I was going to shoot at the Blessing, and I'm like, no, he's got to enliven. No. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been fine if you would have went and shot at him and uh, just did a little bit. Well, because then you could just walk towards my troopers, and I'm not going to have you do that. <laughs> I'm going to let you move him on your turn. Ah. Uh, okay. Of course, my pistol wraith is dead, but. <laughs> so, as you probably yeah. understand here, I'm like, uh, oh. I am Menoth upkeeping, Defender's Ward upkeeping. Um, yep, one to the Blessing, and I think I give two to the Judicator? He already he has one, like and I think I give him two. Oh, no, this is where I go and, uh, yeah, I only give him two because I want to keep enough on Sevi to do Ashes to Ashes. Oh. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> this how, is also how much me. how much does that spell cost? Uh Ashes to Ashes is four. Four points. Okay. Um, I so kept, he's an eight point caster. I up he, kept two. Up kept two, you put two on the Judicator, and you put one, one on the blessing. blessing. So that equals four left over. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that equals three. And <laughs> my whole reasoning was because I looked and I went, I have a hero fant. I can cast one spell for less. Yeah. What is missing? <laughs> yeah. Hero fant. Hey, that that choir leader sure looks like a hero fant. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I. Uh, yeah. That was that was me going. Oops. Well, you don't go oops just yet. No, I don't go oops just yet. It's, it's <laughs> Wait for the math to sink in first. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's once Sevi goes, and I'm like, I'm going to arc through him. Plus, it, ashes to ashes. I, I only have three. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just did that. No. Because uh, you, you pointed to... So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's where it just happened. <laughs> there right was there. a dismissive hand wave, like, <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. I- international sign of go fuck yourself with ashes to ashes. <laughs> 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 well, at this point, ashes to ashes would have been a, an irritant. I don't think it would have been devastating, though. I would have killed off all my, a, lot, a big chunk of my It would have gotten a lot of feeders. Yeah. yeah, I was looking to kill off them with it so that he couldn't go and do... Uh, um, more adrenal floods. Uh, more adrenal floods. Yeah, I can still do it once a turn. Yeah, because it doesn't. It, it then it's just the target. Then he just becomes a solo. Ah. If he was a solo, he'd be even better. I would <laughs> love him as a solo, the leader of the mind benders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't, that ain't gonna happen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, once he once he casts it, you know, nine times. He's a solo then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to bet after casting it six times, he's a pretty open target. Yeah, pretty much. Not that that's bad, mind you. Six casting of that spell is enough to terrify anybody. <laughs> oh, I can kind of tell you're trying to figure like, ah, I was going to ash to ashes. I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> what was plan B? Oh, plan B was still ash to ashes. Uh, yeah. Once again, the book just doing uh, fire. So. Yep. Uh, here's where it should have been no magic. Yeah. Yeah. It probably should have been. Um for some it, reason, I wanted to light more guys on fire. Because if you did more, no, more, uh... No spells. No spells. I probably would have tried targeting it quicker to take it off the yeah. field. But oh, at, at this oh. time, I didn't really care too much about the fires. Yep. Here, here's the other thing, is, uh... I'm gonna use the... F- I've never done this before with Sevi. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and convert. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it's we took a long time here to go and actually figure out if I had if he actually had line of sight because it is just the sliverest. Yeah, bit. so he's going to try to convert a drudge who is already converted. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just he was like, "Is that a man out there too? You should remember me. I'm Sevy, baby." <laughs> <laughs> Takes a family. Like, That's right. Yeah, put the helmet back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, you will smash your friend over there. Like Sevy's like old poker bu- poker buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, I can't mean, play poker anymore. I got a saw blade and a and, sword. Uh, yep. So here you're. 
I've got maker. awesome hands, but they're not good for poker. Yep, I make my leadership four. Oh, oh I didn't yeah. make my leadership check. So he is converted. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. he is no longer the leader, so I have to do the wonderful, weird field promote. And his buddy next to him is yep. his leader. Which probably actually just threw another guy out of command range. Yes, it yeah. did, actually. <laughs> it, it threw both those guys there on a hill out of command. Yeah. Um, I improved this tactic. But I could I could uh, drudge him. Yep. I could adrenal flood One him. thing I should have did mm-hmm. here was I should have just given up. I didn't need Sevy where he was. I could have moved him back a little bit, or I could have even moved him, tried to move him to the other side. Because what I should have noticed is all your monstrosities are over there. Yeah, I was getting further away from well, they're monstrosities. They're harmless. Yes. They, can't you just tell by their lack of hands all they want to do is give you a hug? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, he was a little too far up. I should have moved him back. And Had you not had you fe- had you you not feeded when you did, right. that uh, that wrecker would have trampled. Trampled yeah. right up to you uh, with, with three fury and just <laughs> yeah. did what horrible things wreckers do to old men. Yep. And uh, here Give I'm some highly having... abrasive sponge baths. <laughs> Lots of prunes. Mm. <laughs> that will that will wreck Sevy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, here I was just uh, moving some guys and uh, sacrificing uh, movement so they can attack. And I'm just gonna make some attacks with the uh, make some attacks with the errants because that's what they do. Yep. Get rid of that tar pit again. Yep. Uh, this time I cheated and I used Rage Howler, so... Yeah. Well, it's yeah. only affecting the uh, the Colossal, so... Yeah. Yep. So... And no tough. Because mm-hmm. uh, I don't think... Yeah, you would use Rage Howler, so you weren't 4 plus tough this no. time, so... No. Oh, oh I'm going to attack the Monstrosity. That'll learn him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he's really scared of an errant. <laughs> Actually, oh, okay. armor set. Well, he's armor eighteen. Yeah, he's, he's the clamps. Ar- he's got the. He's got he, the. He's, he's really plate. terrified of charging errants. The, the not yeah. charging ones are. Well, I mean, they're still only uh, they're still only uh, nine up to a ten under yeah. subby, but but dice minus seven, three points a dude. Yeah, yeah. it's going to take you a while to get through the thirty six boxes. Yeah, charging. You see some spikes. It gets ugly. Yeah, they have a lot of a lot of health. Yeah. Lighting people on fire. Me dice rolling. <laughs> I think, it, yeah, because it was a dice minus seven, so I didn't do anything. Jeez. Yeah. You, need, you do need to fire those dice. <laughs> <laughs> they have not been treating you well no. this game. No, for the most part, the... Well, against the, against the monstrosities, my dice really did not... Do a whole lot. <laughs> well, I mean, rolling average would be nice. It'd certainly yeah. go a long way to killing them. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you hit them and put them on fire. Yeah. That's important. And here Andy continues to not make any tough checks with his... Uh, yeah. Boom In hollers, full so. defiance of your fire-producing abilities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is the best way to negate it, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm dead anyway. <laughs> I smell good, though. <laughs> I smell delicious. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for the new Borderlands to come out. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah, I I never play them. Like, I play them, but I'm not... You can leave now. We'll finish them. the battle report without yeah, you. Yeah, we don't need you. No, I mean, like, I've put, like, hours into them but i'm sure. not like the first one i did not like at all mainly because i got it wasn't playing with anyone and then my buddies decided to play with, it, with me and they were all at the top so and they mm. talked me to the last level and in a half hour i ranked i leveled up 30 levels i'm like this is not fun no. yeah and so then i got the second one well i got it for free from my brother as a gift but uh I've been playing it. I was playing it with him, and while we were playing it, I was having a lot of fun, and I actually really liked the dialogue in the second one. So yes, that's what kept me coming back to play it. But uh, I mean, like, I'm not a diehard fanatic, but it is something I probably will pick up for the PC. The yeah, I think the main group of ours are going to be picking it up. Uh, the new Borderlands on PC. Yeah, I'd like to pick it up on PlayStation just because I like it there. 
Oh, that was Once again, that was the, the errant. Seneschal did nothing. <laughs> mm. Seneschal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, there were a lot of ones and twos that were thrown out there that we just decided that we shouldn't bring up. No, because uh, I think he actually hit, but then he did, you know, double ones for damage. So and uh-huh. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm not sure what. You're doing. Oh no! I think I was I was explaining that I could send dr- oh, I could send yeah. more adrenal flooded drudges in. Yep. And then because we, we had we uh, had spectators up there, you can barely see them. I think yeah. that's what you were explaining to them. <laughs> well, I'd like to think I, the spectators nobody can hear, which they can't, <laughs> and they only exist in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That just means that the only people telling you you're doing it wrong are the voices in your head, Andy. Yes. <laughs> I saw a pretty cool... I'm kind of going on a tangent here, but I saw a pretty cool video today of... Uh, uh, what's what's the, the white-haired uh, anchor that's on CNN that... Oh, man. That would require me to watch it, CNN. Uh, he's, an old, he's an older guy. He's awesome. Um, Captain Crunch. No, damn it! Why can I not think of his name? Oh, this is so is it, horrible. Is Bill O'Reilly? On? No, no, okay. it's not Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> like, not not Bill O'Reilly. Um, I didn't think you'd be Anderson a Cooper. Oh, okay. Which I, I do enjoy his 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 work, um, but he had a a test a, a schizophrenic test, and so he had a, like a pair of headphones that would s- simulate how schizophrenics hear. Oh. Wow. So he would be consistently hearing voices all the time, oh, wow. giving them like, <laughs> you know, some praise. So a lot of it's just a lot of negativity, right. you know, and stuff like that. And it seemed to have be live fed to him. Huh. So if he'd be like reading something, yeah. it'd be like, stop reading this. You don't need to read this. It was, he, See, he what said I it was want, like, what I would want to do with that is I would want to take that, that, that sound bite and I'd want to. Mesh it into some of the songs someone's got in their iPod and just remove the original song. <laughs> <laughs> just like walking down the street listening to get their song going. Uh, like, yeah. Just kind of like what, what, what's happening? There we go. <laughs> so it goes to the one five inches. But yeah, he said that that was one of the worst experiences that he's ever had in his life. Huh. And you know that that would really suck. Yeah, just having that. But so uh, second deviation. <laughs> I, I think I called it too. I was yeah. like, "Oh, it would be great if you if you uh, drifted onto your own jack." Yep. Yeah. Well, it's not gonna do much damage. Just light them on fire. No, 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 because no, he... the rocket pods don't do fire. Oh, that's why you yeah. take him with Fiora because then he does fire. Yeah, yeah do fire. And... Yeah, he's a nineteen, and this would be a ten. So it's yeah. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't worried about it, but no. And even if it was going to hurt the jack, you weren't going to do any any real damage to right, it. Right? Yeah. Just yeah, it. we're going to boost this one. <laughs> yep. That should hit. It'll be fine. I'll walk it off. <laughs> or or not. Yeah, because I think we were, it was it was a dice plus one at that point, I think. But yeah, that guy makes this tough. Yeah, I have one thing I forgot to do, and this is something that you should always do. If you have a model that has any kind of secondary AOE that drifts off, right. always keep the original model there. Yeah. But I think it drifts off in the middle of nowhere, I believe. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. there's not much left in any side of the board for it to drift to, so... Yeah, it would have had... No. Nope. No. Because you're a little low on drudges. I, I was I was going for that one to hope, and then it would drift back towards uh, your caster. That's where mm-hmm. I was. That's where I was going with that. But uh, <laughs> well, and plus the if you hit, there was two guys who were going to get caught. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was either to shoot the monstrosities directly. You're shooting my new leader. Yep, what I'm the shooting hell? new leader with the spray. Oh, oh, <laughs> that'd be fine. I'll walk it right off, or nope. not. <laughs> not tough. <laughs> 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 Just keep promoting. Oh, but yeah, you do that guy. Yeah. <laughs> spraying him. Yep, spraying the... On the hill, so... Yep, on the hill, Boosting. so he's like defense 16. Yeah. It's something ugly. I would need it. I need a lot, but... 
Yeah. So, shield guard yeah, yep, six, 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 yeah. 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 Yep. and then I shield guarded it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, those things even have sack pawn monstrosity too. Yeah. So Yeah, it's it makes you wonder why those uh um wardens actually have shield guard, because most things that they'd want a shield guard have sack pawn monstrosity. Or sack pawn their unit. Yeah. Well yeah. sack pawn their unit is is a little bit different. I can understand it then because it's a lot easier just to pick off those guys and just to re- decide to remove them in monstrosity. True. Yeah, so I think I end up doing like three points of damage, I think. Nothing yeah. major, but... It's one of those things, I think, if you're taking them in contract, if you're going to take some of the bloat thralls, you might run them, run them yeah. up there with a couple wardens. That might be interesting. Yeah. So, ancillary attack, him. Yeah. Roll double ones. And now it's uh now we're just figuring out how far it actually deviates could be to the three five inches, but I think Yeah, all the all the deviations from an initial impact, those don't matter about range. Yeah. Which is a good thing to know too. Yep. Yeah, no, this is a initial deviation when I miss, so yeah, so I was just double checking here, and it looks like you're you're gonna <laughs> right drift on yeah. <laughs> right onto my damn agitator. Yep. Oh, I got some pretty decent uh, Andy drift. Yeah, this, this, game, this was, so. and oh, that was. I think that was against some monstrosity. I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you rolled it there because I, I. Oh no! Oh, yeah. yeah, here's the second deviation. Yeah, so it was only against him. Oh, that looks like it's going over the errands. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I think I do actually... Uh... They'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everything there, and there, and him, and him. Yeah. No. We got some guys. Well, I think one of my, I think it's you know, the wreckers over there. So yeah, I think it's the wrecker, and I, th- I think it was three errands. Yeah, it was either two or three errands. Well, the errands should be in pretty good shape to survive. Yeah. So. Oops, I needed nine. <laughs> well, and, that's what I get for talking, right? Oh, in the past. Never mind. He toughed. <laughs> we'll put him back because that was me forgetting tough, and then I think you reminded me. Hey, tough. Yeah. <laughs> no. And, wow. Oh, tough. Hey, tough again. <laughs> All those sour dice rolls, and you're really good at brutalizing your own errands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the truth about Protector, though? <laughs> and as bad as it was in Mark 1, where, when there were so many deliberate strategies about throwing your own dudes around. Yeah. So fire does not go out on... Ooh. That's on the wrecker, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Should have been uh, minus five. Yeah, the so boomies. Boomies actually w- went out. Boomhauer finally his fire went out. He has no desire left. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, just let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not gonna fight it anymore. Oh, that's what it was. I actually marked down on another oh, warden right. card, and I ended up going to get another wrecker because I marked down the wrong column, and I didn't have something to erase it with. Nah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I like how your dice are nice, brilliant, easy to read, so we can watch exactly how badly they're treating you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... I they're, I think these dice uh, treat me what, bad. Would you like us to inform the authorities? Because those are clearly causing problems. <laughs> <laughs> I like read. I like using them because they're so easy to read. But I do believe that they cause me more issues. I was say, they do not like being used. That yeah. is apparent. <laughs> so I put in, I think, three focus onto the warden, or onto the wrecker. On the wrecker, yeah. You and then didn't I kept put the... any on the warden. Nope, I did not. In hindsight, I probably should have because it, it... I, I, had, I had stuff I could do with it, and I just didn't do it. Yeah, it might have helped you out, but. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next here. I th- oh, I know. I'm going to go. 
Send some overloads. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're not going to get in range to do much other than the murder choir, though. And that vassal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That may be who I'm trying to target with both of them. Can't imagine why. Yeah. To be perfectly honest, I think your ancillary shots were doing better than your normal shots. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> not not this past be, one. Though. Besides the last one, which it almost took out, or it did take out two members of your of your errands. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, my inc- ancillary shots were definitely uh, hitting better than my other ones. There you go. I finally hit. Looked like. Yep. Right. Well, those vassals can be deceptively tough. Yeah, I mean they're thirteen thirteens, five boxes. Yeah, I mean, normally you see a support piece like that, you expect it to have a glass jaw on it. And yeah. If they're touching a jack, they get some pretty decent boosts, too. So. Yeah. Oh, that was me, actually. I actually rolled really big on the jack. Yeah. Uh, uh, and on then the... you killed the choir, and now here against uh, the, va- the vassal. Because I think, yep. Yep. Yeah, I think I rolled boxcars on the... On the... <laughs> Uh, colossal to actually do a couple damage to him. I, I really think, uh, Andy, I should give you my dice. They're they're nice and readable. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm using my bright green ones, I go. Those other the the dark green and yellow ones. Yeah, those are really hard to read. Yeah, from the glare. It didn't feel like there was that bad of a glare when we were actually playing, but uh. oh, that's good because they might be our next uh, crippled system dice. <laughs> 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 I really want to get the, the that vortex screen that's up there. Oh, I'm going up, checking on my control. I think I said I'm going to feet. Yeah. I'm going to try to decide if I want to move first. Nope. Or I don't remember. No, you, you, you move over the wall to catch a little bit more, I believe. Now, say so you're right on the edge. You might be able to catch a couple more important figures if you just hop that nice piece of concrete there. You know, I, I thinking about this, I should have just moved first because I feed it and then moved. Not to oh, give away spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> but I moved for an actual reason, too. But I basically catch everything. Oh, I didn't even see it. I got your drudge. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I could have moved move your drudge. Yes. Damn it. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the linchpin in this whole operation, right? It, that's it what cost you the was. game. Yeah. Bloop. Yeah. I did listen to the audio for this a, a moment before you guys came over. Um, and I do remember the part in there where you said, I, you can't push a knockdown model, can you? <laughs> and then I say, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't, uh, you can't slam, slam them. Yeah. And then you're like, uh-oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you look there, there's two monstrosities, and there's a whole line of errands in front of them, and they seem to be moving. You already see that the book has been moved out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And you can just barely see the green of Sevy's base there, just by, just past the Judicator. At this point in time, it's probably you know more of a yellowish hue. Yes. Um, <laughs> Sevy's yeah. not liking his odds right now. He is not. And this, I was like, this is where I just went, I know what your feet does. And then you move the first one, and I just went, oh, oh, huh. oh, crap, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what it does, but I didn't read the instructions properly. <laughs> I think this is when Nathan came over too, and I was explaining to him how I just parted the seas. Yeah. <laughs> and then Nathan goes, hey, "Those guys haven't moved yet, have they?" And I'm like, "Nope." And I was like, "Oh." Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. point out to the monstrosities. Yeah. You mean the drudges aren't going to save the day here? <laughs> no, the clamps is going to get it done. The clamps. The boss is like, I got to get him to the clamps. So just to make sure, I I know I'm moving. Uh, Exelon up just to make sure that there's enemies in his control or his command area. Oh, yes. That's what mm. it was. That way I can make sure that they can charge for free. Yep. So, so it's the like clamps can charge for free. Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, well, also, any of them. Yeah. Yeah. Both, yeah. yeah but. I was going to TK something and I'm like, nah. He already pushed everything. I, uh... <laughs> yeah. There's, there's really. <laughs> Yeah, and I think I was about to charge with uh, the clamps, and I, like, ooh. 
I don't know what I'm doing I don't know. I think, I think you're confused that you're able to open oh, up that big of a hole to my yeah. pastor. <laughs> yeah, that, I have that big of a hole, and I was sitting there, I have like focus left over. I'm like, I want to cast it on something, but I I got nothing to cast on. Honestly, like, when your armor's 14, having nothing to cast and focus left over isn't all that terrible. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so I just ended up camping it because, you know, there's still an errant over there that can that can get to me. But <laughs> if if this doesn't go through, but... That would have required that Seneschal to actually do anything this game. Yep, so I was just about to move the the warden. I remembered that I have the agitator there. So I decided to move him up there and agitate. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think that he, when he goes up there, he just says, hey. Hey, Hey, listen. (laughs) Hey. (laughs) And that would definitely agitate me. And Just like that, too. Yeah. (laughs) Except for whenever I I make that noise, or, you know, like hey, it immediately I hear that like the the sound of Navi moving. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that noise too, even if it's like in a that's different some serious voice. conditioning that's been worked in. It is. I okay. have. So now here comes the attacks with clamps. The clamps. I just need sevens to hit. Sevens. Nope, that's oh, a that's six. six. Oh. And first clamp. That's oh, a six. six. <laughs> Another clamp. Six. Six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> clamps did a lot there. <laughs> On a completely open Sevy. just couldn't clench victory, huh? No. Oh, don't worry. So here comes the warden. Derp, yeah. derp, 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 derp. Let me show you how this is done, boy. <laughs> Again, need seven, so I decided on the charge attack. I'll just... I should have just boosted the charge attack. Yeah. yeah that might be all it Not- takes to paste a Sevy. How much, how much focus is Sevy sitting on? Uh, three? Yeah, three, three because I wanted to go and uh, cast All ashes. Right. ashes. Oh, and that missed. missed. <laughs> so the second one goes, and that one hits. That one hits. These are only power 19s. I mean, not so a yeah. big Dice deal. plus two. And I think that was a five. That was yeah, off. I think you, yep. Yep. Yeah, you did. Ten right there. Buy an attack. And, uh, He's sitting there contemplating. So I'll buy yeah. an attack and... Boost a hit or boost the damage? Yeah, because you're sitting at seven, you know, because it's like that's right there on the cusp. Ooh, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh you tease. That was by an attack. Yep, boost. Yep. I'll do that. Oh. Yeah, uh, that definitely, hits. Bonk. <laughs> definitely hits the old man. And I'm like, yeah, fuck you. How much has this guy left? Four? Ah, yeah, uh, boost the damage. <laughs> uh, that's probably the right move. <laughs> Raw. Yeah, I needed yeah. Uh, I needed three ones to stay alive because that would have <laughs> did five points of damage and he had uh, six boxes. So, no, oh, yikes. Yeah, I needed trip ones for for him to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that, uh, that's the end. Uh, that was episode sixteen. Nah, I'm just biting out stuff here. Whatever. Yeah, I think we're just doing a little discussion after the game about things that we could have did. <laughs> yeah, so that's the wonderful new Cephalix. You can use them to part the seas and send monstrosities at Sevi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, and only that, nothing else. Don't, yeah. don't worry about adrenal flun. It's worthless. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It did not almost take out half Adjudicator at all with yeah. just three of them. <laughs> Yeah, Ter- I, terrible spell, you know, your, your your real money there is to uh, just convert all those things to drudges. Don't even bother casting spells. Just just pick away at them and turn them into drudges. You should add a little mechanical arms onto Sevi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he w- he would look very much like one of the one of the drudges with his cloak with yeah. the way his cloak is made too. Yep. So or the, poking out under the un- under the arms with extra mechanical claw. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you think it is. I'm going to put that away. <laughs> All right. Well, right. that's that's it. So thanks thanks again for watching, guys. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Bye.